Vice President Kamala Harris just destroyed Donald Trump and the Republicans in her first campaign speech. She was in Delaware and Wilmington visiting the headquarters of the now Kamala Harris campaign, formerly President Biden's campaign. She was talking to staff and introducing herself to everybody. It was a really nice event, but of course she spoke to all the staff. It was carried by the major news networks. And in this speech, she made sure to take a couple of jabs at Donald Trump and rile up the base, get them out to vote, get them excited. So I have some clips to show you from this speech. They're all really great. The first one I want to show you is Vice President Kamala Harris going directly at Donald Trump and kind of drawing that distinction between her and Donald Trump, the convicted felon. Take a look. As a young prosecutor, when I was in the Alameda County District Attorney's Office in California, I specialized in cases involving sexual abuse. Donald Trump was found liable by a jury for committing sexual abuse. As Attorney General of California, I took on one of our country's largest for-profit colleges and put it out of business. Donald Trump ran a for-profit college, Trump University, that was forced to pay $25 million to the students it scammed. As District Attorney, to go after polluters, I created one of the first environmental justice units in our nation. Donald Trump stood in Mar-a-Lago and told big oil lobbyists he would do their bidding for a $1 billion campaign contribution. <laughs> during, during the foreclosure crisis, I took on the big Wall Street banks and won $20 billion for California families. <laughs> holding those banks accountable for fraud. Donald Trump was just found guilty of 34 counts of fraud. Yeah, wow. I mean, that is some of the best political messaging I think we've seen in modern American politics. I mean, look at the difference here. On the Democratic side, we have Vice President Kamala Harris, who was a district attorney, a prosecutor, attorney general, who upheld the rule of law. That was like fundamental to her job. And then on the Republican side, we have Donald Trump, a convicted felon. Trump is the type of person that Kamala Harris threw in jail. We have a prosecutor versus a felon this election. Trump, you know, liable for sexual abuse, liable for business fraud, bank fraud, uh, all of this different stuff. And of course, a convicted felon. That's the type of person that Kamala Harris went after. I mean, is that not just making the choice abundantly clear? Does it get any more clear than that? We have rule of law versus not rule of law. And of, of course, and all the policy as well, Vice President Kamala Harris was involved in all of the major achievements in Biden's administration. She had achievements as a district attorney, as a prosecutor, also as a senator from California. All of those things she was involved in, infrastructure, fighting climate change, lowering health care costs. Vice President Kamala Harris's record is fantastic. And then Trump, well, his record is giving tax cuts to the wealthy, taking reproductive rights away from women, uh, breaking the law, inciting an insurrection, and more. I mean... The choice was already clear when we had President Biden at the top of the ticket. I mean, it, it was already clear, no doubt about it. But now we genuinely have the prosecutor versus felon matchup. And I think that hammering that messaging home, hammering the we uphold the rule of law, they don't. And given the records of these two individuals that are now running for president, I think that's some effective messaging right there. And I think they agree. They're really leaning into it. In her first campaign speech as the presumptive Democratic nominee, She's hammering that point home. I love it. So this next clip I want to show you is also from Vice President Kamala Harris's speech. And the clip, I, I'm just showing you this because it really put a smile on my face when I saw it. She's rallying up the, the base with it. She's rallying all the folks up there in the campaign headquarters, uh, getting them excited. And it's just a really heartwarming clip. So take a look. So in the next 106 days, we have work to do. We have doors to knock on, we have people to talk to, we have phone calls to make, and we have an election to win. So, are you ready to get to work? Do we believe in freedom? Do we believe in opportunity? Do we believe in the promise of America? willing to fight for it. Yeah. And when we fight, we win. God bless you all and God bless the United States of America and Joe Biden. 
doesn't that just give you like goosebumps? Doesn't that just make you excited? You know, I love that ending portion where she says, you know, when we fight, we win. And it's true. When we put our minds to something, when we do it together, we get it done. As President Biden likes to say, when we do something together, there's nothing that the American people can't achieve. And I fully agree with Vice President Harris here saying like, we can do this. You know, we have 106 days. We Let's go knock some doors. Let's talk to our friends, family, loved ones about why this election is so important, why Kamala Harris needs to be the Democratic nominee. And of course, the next president of the United States. I just, I, it's such a, an exciting moment, I think. Like, it's really an injection of excitement into the Democratic Party. Look, I was already excited about President Biden. I love President Biden. He's an, a fantastic man, has been a fantastic president. But Harris's candidacy just changes things up. And it really is a, 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 mar- a remarkable and an important moment for America, for the, our democracy, and for the campaign against Donald Trump. And I just love the reaction from the crowd there. I, had to, I just had to show you that. Such an amazing moment. The next clip I want to show you is actually not of Vice President Kamala Harris speaking. President Biden himself called into the campaign headquarters when Vice President Kamala Harris was visiting and talked to the staff, talked to her. And it's just another incredibly heartwarming moment, full of love, full of kindness. So take a look. I want people to remember that what we have done has been incredible and we get so much more we're going to get done. And so I want to say hello to Kamala. If she can hear me, I know she's going to be speaking shortly. And I want to say to the team, embrace her. She's the best. I want to call today to thank everybody, everybody in this effort. I know yesterday's news was surprising and uh, it was hard for you to hear, but it was the right thing to do. It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard because you poured your heart and soul into me to help us win this thing, help me get this nomination, help me win the nomination, and then go on to win the, win the, the presidency. But, you know, you're an amazing team, but we've got a great, great, I think we made the right decision. I know how hard you've worked, how many sacrifices you've made, and so many of you, so many of you uprooted your lives for me and the kind of commitment few people make for anything these days, but you made it. And I've been honored and humbled. I mean, this is from the bottom of my heart. My word is a Biden that for all you've done for me and my family. And you- that was just such a nice message from President Biden calling in and saying, hey, give your heart and soul to Kamala. Give your heart and soul to her. She's amazing. And he believes in her. He believes in her. And he wants her to succeed. And of course, be Donald Trump. He's saying, you know, thank you guys for everything you've done for me. I'm passing the torch to Vice President Kamala Harris and let's fight for her. And, you know, he also said later in in his call that he's going to be out there. He's not going anywhere. He's president of the United States. He's going to be continuing to work, continuing to to fight for the American people on a daily basis. And of course, he's going to be on the campaign trail with Vice President Kamala Harris, hitting the road and making sure that people get out there and vote for her as the next president of the United States. But, you know, when I saw this clip, I felt like a mix of sadness and happiness because sadness in the sense that, you know, as I mentioned, I love Joe Biden. I I've met the man, I've interviewed him. I think he's fantastic, but happiness in the sense that, you know, this is the new generation and Joe Biden is willingly passing the torch, giving vice president Harris her time to be the democratic nominee and her time to beat Donald Trump in the 2024 presidential election. So it's a, it's a mix of emotions as well. And the final thing I want to show you uh, from this Kamala Harris campaign visit, and of course, Biden calling in was just this amazing quote, amazing moment in the phone call that uh, that wasn't caught on video. And as you can see on your screen from a journalist who was there, Biden said on the call, quote, I'm watching you, kid. I love you about Vice President Kamala Harris at the campaign headquarters saying, I'm watching you, kid. I love you. And I think, you know, like I had the same reaction to that as I did the last clip of President Biden calling in of just like, I, I appreciate him so much and like he's this is just not something we see in politics in world history where a leader willingly gives up power for the betterment of the country to make the next generation better and 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 beat somebody this is not something we see it's certainly not something we see from Donald Trump who always puts the country below him he puts himself first not the country Joe Biden is the other way around and just saying you know like I'm watching you kid I love you man really pulls on the heartstrings doesn't it just a good man. He's a good person. He's an amazing president. And so this campaign event, I think went incredibly well. Um, and you know, her first speech as a, as a candidate, I suppose, 
uh, went well as well. And kind of drawing that distinction between Donald Trump riling up the base. And of course, it's always amazing to hear from President Biden. So I just wanted to show you this briefly. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, I appreciate both Vice President Kamala Harris and President Biden. They're a great team. And I'm excited for the future and what they can accomplish. And uh, for President uh, Kamala Harris. So anyway. I'll leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Make sure to subscribe down below. It also should be on your screen somewhere. Drop a like on the video and comment. Let me know what you think about all this. But look, I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.